everyone, and welcome to the final episode of week 13 of the 2024 Dragon Ball Z League main season. I am your host, Bads of the Bow, here with my co-host, Malachi. And we have had some uh, very exciting matches this week. Uh, please do go make sure and check out those last few uh, episodes that have been posted uh, before coming back to this one. If you haven't seen them, you know, you would never you never start a book right at the uh, right at the final page unless I guess you're like a madman. So you uh, wouldn't start a week uh, of Dragon Ball Z leak that way, would you? Uh, I mean, you, you that's the best way to read a book. You read the last page first, then you know how it ends, and, and the fun is figuring out how you got there. You see, Mal, only a madman who's on staff who does, like, thousands of tests in a year uh, would have that <laughs> that mindset. Like, hey, 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 I, I never claimed sanity. No, don't, I... don't go making accusations. No, I guess, in fairness, you do not claim sanity. Um... But I say, speaking of sanity, or perhaps insanity, we have our seventh match of the week. Hybrids versus Rugrats. A very important match here, as this is our uh, second and last uh, West Kai Divisional. Yeah. Um, both of these teams want this win. Like... West Kai is still close enough that anyone could take the, except maybe Muscle now, but anyone can take the bye week. And both of these teams, they're, they're likely in. Like, uh, if Hybris gets the win, they're guaranteed in. If Rugrats gets the win, they're not guaranteed in, but it, it's very hard for them to get kicked out. Um, and both of, and that shows uh we we've had a lot of money spent on this match um hybrid spent seven zenny rugrat spent five zenny you know I, I i think both these teams really want this win yeah this is definitely an important match uh for for both teams so i say there's nothing uh, uh left to do other than just go ahead and get right into it let's do it so Hybrids, starting off with Saiyaman uh, running defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, eternal life, latent energy as a boost on Piccolo AI. Um, Rugrats, starting with the demon child Aureli, running attack plus two, defense minus one, quick fast attack, eternal life. Sirius with Auric Charge, ultimate four as a boost on Broly AI. I'm actually not sure what... Okay, it does give her an aura. Cool. Yeah. It's yeah. just kind of there. Well, yeah, it's just kind of there. Like, I, I wasn't always sure how that would work on characters that normally don't have an aura. So, because I didn't know if it required you to have one on. So, but yeah, uh, Aureli is the demon child, and she is starting to show why she's called the demon child. I will say, Saiyan Man has been a fantastic starter for hybrids these last few weeks. He has taken down some big names. But Aurelia is proving why she's the demon child. <laughs> yeah, Sandman's had some good performances, but it's hard to compete with Aurelia, who is an absolute monster in the melee game, which we are seeing here. Um, and she just keeps yep. getting behind him and getting off those ping pong combos and has generated a pretty good uh, lead here for Rugrats. Yeah, she's, she, she is now uh, two bars in the lead. I mean, as I said, it's just hard because the problem is the more damage you do to a Rayleigh, the stronger she gets with that Sirius. And Saiyaman goes down. Uh, in comes Sword Trunks, running attack plus one. Sirius, Master Blast, quick fast attack. Save your Kibito Secret Art with a limiter on Frieza AI. Uh, good job, Trunks. You have officially done more than Saiyaman did. Uh, yeah, more or less. Um, yeah, I mean, he's gotten her down into the red as a Rayleigh suddenly is struggling. Uh, against uh, Sword Trunks. Gets off a Woohoo, getting some nice damage in. And, I mean, yeah. Trunks is having a much better Ooh. performance than Saiyan Man against her. Yeah, he is. And some of that, I think, is just he was able to get that B2 off right at the start. Uh, gets that uh, Princess Pride off uh, into a clash. Uh, Aureli wins it. Uh, she really just needs to tag. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, a tag or Tyler either that or eat the ult that he's wanting to throw out. Oh, well, she tags. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Tapion's gift getting thrown out. Uh, hits Goten. Um, Goten coming in, running attack plus one. Serious fighting spirit, indignation, light body, then these healing with a Kabito secret art boost on Piccolo AI. Um, yeah, so. Oh man, Aureli giving Rugrats a fantastic lead, but uh, Goten has max power mode and he has a scary ult with Bro's Kamehameha. Is he gonna use it? That Probably is not. the question, and yeah, it does look like he does not go for it. Um, goes for an assault oh. that misses, misses by a hair. Yeah, like I, I think I literally saw him like skate past like an inch away from Trunks. Yeah, unfortunately it's just yeah. one of those rushes that doesn't have any tracking, it's just like a straight line, so... Can be a little yeah. hard to connect, but with the melee, he does take down Trunks. Brinking oh. on out Adult Gohan. Oh. So, I, I, I look at the comment. Uh, look at Chad for a moment to pull the poll. Uh, and, and I saw the comment from from Chad said, Aurelia's pissed. She didn't make it in a sparking easier and took it out on Saiya Man. Um, mm. Well, which makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, chat thinking. Uh, they're thinking Rugrats. Fifty-five percent of chat thinks Rugrats has got this. Hybrids with forty-four percent. Um, Adult Gohan's trying to bring it back. So he... we, we will see what happens. Yeah, he is going for it, and I mean, Go Gohan, the FA of hybrids, a very scary, very strong character. Uh, takes down Goten, but Goten. Doing a bar and half them and taking out Trunks, not a bad performance, as we now have Kid Trunks hitting the field. Yeah, uh, let me read off the builds. Uh, Kid Trunks running uh, super, Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Indignation Savior, Dende's Healing, Key Control, with a Kabito Secret Art Boost on Chouncey AI, Adult Gohan, running Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Focus Shot, Indignation, Light Body, Rolls Ring, Dende's Healing, with Key Control as a boost on Vegeta AI. And down what? goes Adult no. Gohan. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, now we have away. Future. Future yeah. comes in, running attack plus two, defense minus one, serious, quick, fast attack, light body, then he's healing, savior, Kabito secret art as a boost on Trunks AI. Um, I will say, like, this is a very hard matchup. We've seen Future go elite, like, twice this season. So... The problem is Kid Trunks is probably the best 1v1 melee character, 1v1 character in the league by quite a margin. Yeah. So it is in, I, I don't want to discount a uh, future doing it, but Kid Trunks proving why he is such a dangerous contender in our MVP tournaments where he just goes out and slaughters people. Um, and Future really struggling to get those hits in. Yeah, Future is just not getting in the hits on uh, Kid Trunks, and it's looking like this might be a pretty dominant uh, three-man win for Rugrats if Trunks keeps this up. Yeah, I mean, Future, as I said, part of it is every time Future goes in for a grab, Trunks was able to block it and use that to start a melee combo. Um... And that, that's just kind of been the downfall. Oh, and okay. down goes Future. A very strong dominant performance from Rugrats taking down hybrids and uh, giving Rugrats a fighting chance uh, to maybe get the, uh, the bye week, depending on how these next couple weeks go. Yeah, I mean, Rugrats looking fantastic coming out of that. I mean... I don't know what else to say. Like, uh, Aureli just continuing to be scary, Goten being scary, and Trunks being scary. Uh, all, all of those characters doing about 60 to 70,000 uh, when all is said and done. Um, yeah. yeah. But congratulations to Rugrats, and good luck on your next match as hybrids. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we have the final match of the week. Match number eight, Earth Defenders versus Sentai. Yep, both of these teams. So after this, one of these teams will have a guaranteed playoff position. 
um, because they're both seven and five. Um, you know, Sentai, I think, wants it a little bit more. They're sitting a little bit better now that uh, Cinema lost, but Derp is also on their heels, having come up to just seven and six with, with their win earlier this week. Uh, Earth Defenders also, uh, they got Boo Saga right behind them, Cold, and Resurrected Warriors also got a win this week. So, I mean, they, they want to cross the line. They want to get into the playoffs. Um, let's get into it. Yeah, this is definitely a important match uh, for for both teams here. Uh, definitely desperately needing, uh, not desperately needing, but definitely wanting uh, this win. And I gotta say, I mean, Earth Defenders, I think, is a team that you would expect to see at uh, 7 and 5. Um, but Sentai at 7 and 5 having a very, very good season this year. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, it comes, a lot of that is due to they, they spent a lot of Zenny in the offseason to get a loan for Ultimate Gohan. Um, but first off, uh, let, let's, let me read off the build for the starters. Uh, Earth Defenders is starting off with Krillin, running Defense 2, Dende's Healing, Serious Quick Fast Attack, Light Body, Majin Buu AI. Birder is running Defense Plus 3, Attack Minus 1, Quick Fast Attack, Eternal Life, Piccolo AI. So th we might have a minute here. They're both defense builds. Um... Yeah, both, both defense builds uh, opening up. Uh, so this, yeah, this could, this could definitely take a, a minute to resolve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we saw how long it took for, I mean, Krillin starting off strong. He, he is already a bar in the lead um, against Birder. And, you know, Birder just having trouble hitting Krillin. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, good job, Krillin. Yeah, uh, this is a very good start from ED with Krillin here. Uh, managing to break through uh, Birder's uh, defense and EL. But Birder getting off on Ice Typhoon and starting to get in his own melee combos. Uh, getting his own damage in on Krillin. But yeah, uh, yeah. Birder really needs to start to kind of start cooking with gas here a little bit. But it's gonna be really hard yeah. for that if after mid strike up. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard, but he can do it. He he's starting to get his bearings, uh, and that should almost even it up if it doesn't even it up all the way. Uh, yeah, like it it's basically back to an even fight now. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think with the time with the time the after mid strike is yeah probably ran out. Ooh. Yeah, so, now the, the hard part is Krillin's now got that uh, charge penalty that's going to make it hard to to do some of those bigger melee moves, like charging up me. Oh, Krillin tags. That could be crucial. We have seen all week how the tag game is just so important. Uh, but in comes mid Vegeta running attack plus one, launch of support, eternal light with a free Rolly's ring on Trunks AI. And Birder starting off strong against him, almost taking him down the bar. Yeah, this is a, a scary member of ED. Uh, he is a character that you need to deal with uh, quickly or you will get overwhelmed. But Birder putting up a good fight here uh, against him. Looking like he might be able to take him down a bar before he goes no. out. Not quite. Yeah, he, he got him down almost a bar. Um, but the Eternal Life member of Sentai finally going down. In comes Ultimate Gohan. Uh, running attack plus two, defense minus one, savior, quick fast attack, power of rage, Dende's healing, Sirius, Broly, eight eye. Uh, Sirius on him is a boost, so yeah, should he, he's going to be hitting hard, and these clashes already doing a fair bit. Oh, that Ooh. might hit. Uh, oh, not quite. Would have been cool to quite. see. Uh, don't see it very often. Yeah, I mean, but Vegeta managing to block just in time. I thought all those rush blasts would have gotten him to... Uh, it would have distracted him from actually made him get hit. Um, but Ultimate Gohan not caring. He, he is just beating the crap out of mid-Vegeta. And mid-Vegeta about to... There he goes. Dies to the wild sense. The poll is yep. in. Sentai at 60%, ED at 40%. So... Chat's giving a slight edge to the Sentai here. Uh, and I gotta say, so far, that 
It, I mean, it's still pretty even. Yeah, um, but mid Goku coming in, running attack plus two, defense minus one, serious, light energy, quick fast attack, light body savior, dragon spirit on Trunks AI. Um, yeah, so both of these characters tuned for high melee damage, but they also have high D2 damage to go along with it. And I mean, Ultimate Gohan is doing his job. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing here the melee damage from Ultimate Gohan already putting mid Goku almost into the red. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is a dominating performance from Ultimate Gohan. Something that you would expect to see. He is one of the best characters in the league. Hands oh, yeah. down. Like, this, this is not surprising. I mean, it is still possible for it is absolutely possible for mid Goku to to get a to get some damage on the board like he, he has. Oh, Ooh, bad oh, running bad in there. I mean, bad timing mid Goku. In comes Krillin managing to to hit uh, Ultimate Gohan uh, with that Kamehameha. Very well timed on charging it, my, by the way. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and looks like he's going to take out Ultimate Gohan. He takes out Ultimate Gohan, keeping Earth Defenders in this. Uh, in comes Saiya Woman, uh, running Key Plus One, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Power of Rage, Dende's Healing, Frieza AI. I will say, like, uh, Herc is a wild card. This is still anybody's game. Like, yeah. we have seen Herc just, if he spams his present bombs, um, it could be over for, for Sentai. Um, yeah. But Hercule coming in with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Indignation, Focus Shot, Fighting Spirit, Launcher Support, Savior on Chaozu AI. And there's oh, our first present bomb. That's going to do like 12k. Yep. Nice 12k damage to say, woman. And yeah, Hercule definitely a bit of a wild card glass cannon. If he spams like he is supposed to, he will shred through anyone he's facing. But if he doesn't do that spam, he at, is a sitting duck. Look at that charge rate in the water. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, and oh, there goes another one, and that's going to be another 10k. And I mean, this is this is the the problem. Like he he has such good B2s, and oh, oh, but say a woman hits with a B her own B2, and all this damage is going to stick. Oh, that was 10k too. Good job, say a woman. Um. Yeah. Any oh, present bomb oh. interrupting the melee. Yeah, and I mean, he, if she can get off one more B2, it'll set Zangaya up. It'll set Zangaya up. Like, Zangaya, like, this is a 50 50 for these two. Like, we have seen how Hercule can just shred through an opponent. Um, But if Zangaya hits her ult, like, that could be that's, it for. And oh, ult, if she hits or her shoot black. Oh, yep, I think that's it. That, that might be it. That might be it. I, Hercule did get the champion style off in just enough time. He may survive it. Not, he does not quite. 14k from that. Oh, man. Even with the champion style. Even the champion wow. style. That did enough to take him out. Giving Sentai the win. Putting them up at 8 and 7. Securing them into playoffs. And ED goes down to 7 and 6. Still doing very well for themselves, but not quite safe just yet. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. And we we got two more weeks of the main season. Um, these are going to be some very contentious matches as teams try to, to clinch those playoff spots. Make sure to tune in uh, the next few weeks as we figure out who goes to the playoffs. In Indeed. But until then, uh, please uh, check the description below where you can find our socials, our TikTok, our Twitter, and most importantly, our Discord, where you can come and join up with one of the teams you've seen this week um, and join up with the community. But until then, I've been Bad to the Bow. And I've been Malachi. And we will catch y'all later. Later. <laughs>